Hey there, hope you are doing great. In this particular session, I'm going to discuss a new announcement that has recently come up from the topmost RPA player in RPA Domain. And when I say the topmost RPA player, by this time you might have guessed who is that particular entity, who is that particular organization. Well, it is none other than the UiPath and that has announced its integration with Tableau. So what they have done, how they have done, some of the use cases to get understand is something I'm going to discuss in a little while. And just to give you a heads up, hope you are enjoying this particular RPA for CA course, which is designed especially for finance professionals and chartered accountants like us. And before going to the new lecture, I'm just uh, going to remind you that the recent amendment or the recent lecture edition, which is on skills that are required for an RPA functional consultant and RPA technical consultant. So this is something which you need to uh, really watch. And once you watch that, please watch this particular new lecture as well. Yeah. So with that introduction, let us go to the main lecture content. So well, this is the update from UiPath and I'm at UiPath newsroom page. So what is that particular uh, uh, announcement speaks is that uh, they have integrated with Tableau to transform dashboards into dynamic action centers. If you see, there are two terms here. One is dashboards, okay, that is getting transformed or changed to dynamic action centers, which means that I can do something from the dashboard which I'm not able to do till now. So what exactly is this? Well, so just to give you a brief introduction to that W, hope many of you might be aware of this, but for those who are not aware, W is a data visualization tool where we can play with the big voluminous data. Like we can create whatever charts we want, whatever diagrams we want. We can establish correlations. We can uh, do some sort of heat maps or kind of all these MAS things are uh, done using this particular W. Maybe the competitor to uh, be named that is Power BI, where uh, some of you might be hearing it off. So what they have done is that they are transforming these particular dashboards into dynamic action centers, which means that a user like us can initiate some sort of actions directly from the dashboard screen instead of going to our routine SAP, routine Tally, or routine Zoho books or whatever ERP that we are using. Instead of opening them to initiate some transactions, we can do them from these dashboards itself. Well, now to continue the same pace, let us go to some of the examples so that we'll be able to understand the broader picture. Well, so I'll directly take you through uh, two examples to get you a better understanding. And then we'll think of how they have done it and what is the benefit it's going to provide us. Yeah, so these are the examples. Say for example, you want to order something, a particular product, uh, because you are seeing some trend line and uh, expecting that, okay, this is the product which might require some sort of supply at a later stage, maybe in the next week or next month. And you want to order after seeing that particular dashboard or after seeing that particular chart kind of thing. Okay. So uh, currently what we're doing is, okay, we have seen this particular W chart. Okay. That is superb. And now what we're doing? On seeing that particular chart, we are going to our SAP and initiating the purchase request or initiating the reorder uh, uh, kind of uh, model so that that particular material will be reordered for so and so quantity. But what this particular integration or this particular flexibility is providing is that we can initiate such reorder requests directly from the dashboard. Isn't that amazing? Well. Uh, let me read out in uh, the similar sentences that was from UiPath. For example, a supply chain analyst on reviewing the inventory data in Tableau can automate a purchase request for stock items that needs reordering directly within that particular dashboard. So this is something this particular uh, integration is going to provide us. Yeah, hope you understood. So user can initiate these sort of actions directly from Tableau interface without going to SAP or without going to these particular RPA uh, management consoles. Yeah, without going there, they can initiate either a bot uh, uh, from this particular dashboard so that that bot will take care of this particular reordering uh, request initiation and all. And on the similar lines, they have given one more example, which is from IT system administrator, where they can launch a robot directly from the dashboard of uh, Tableau to investigate an incident without leaving that particular Tableau. 
so normally we'll be doing all tab or we'll be going to our routine or legacy erp packages and there we'll be acting or we'll be going to other way if at all assuming that bots are already implemented we'll be opening that particular management consoles and there we'll be uh, uh, triggering these bots into action but here what is the flexibility is that we can initiate these particular bots directly from the dashboard of w so this is the level of integration that uipath is providing us and uh, now we'll move on to how they are doing it okay how they are doing is it is something that we need to know as a functional consultants so here we can see two terms from this particular pair which is w apis w connectors well so how this particular integration is going to benefit us as well as how uh, these two platforms are able to talk is via apis so let me say you an example whenever we design some sort of a robot to prepare some sort of mis so in a routine way how we will be designing is that we'll ask these robots to initiate uh, to uh, in interact with that particular w from the user level just like the way we are in interacting with the w but here with this particular integration what is happening is uh, bot will be able to extract the data from the w by using apis which means that from the back end it will be able to uh, pull all the required data the relevant charts relevant graphs relevant heat maps or whatever okay that is something uh, is possible with apis the other way is that i mean the other application of the flexibility is that they are providing connectors for w by which these particular bots will come into action when the user performs something on the dashboard right so we understood up to now how these particular dashboards are helping us with this particular concept of connectors we are able to visualize how they are able to do it correct so through this particular connectors they are able to establish a connection so that uh, from the dashboard bots are coming into action or bots are getting triggered well so those are the two technical things that we need to understand and uh, yeah how they are how a user will be uh, programming it how the user will be configuring it do we need to write some xyz uh, coding or xyz scripts in so and so programming languages no absolutely not required uh, again uipath has maintained its consistency in providing such a drag and drop experience so that user will be able to uh, create these particular process flows create these particular uh, bot design by simple drag and drop so just like the way, way we are able to uh, create a bot in the design studio we can even integrate uh, to w using the same drag and drop options yeah that is something they have uh, cl clearly expressed in this particular pair so now how it is going to benefit us i think by this time you might have already understood we are not able to go to our legacy uh, we, are, we are not required sorry we are not required to go to our legacy erp packages and trigger these actions we can trigger uh, these particular things from the dashboard itself such a dynamic such an intuitive features this particular ua path is offering with this particular integration well so the old style of going to other tab and uh, going to maybe ua path uh, management console and into, uh, initiating these particular robots this all will not be there whatever you want you can in initiate from one dashboard well so this is all for this new lecture if you have any doubts you know how you can contact me and hope you are enjoying this particular course and do not miss any lecture as i told and this is a uh, 30th video that we are going to add in this particular course contents many more to come uh, stay updated stay chartered thank you signing off